And Saturday marked the 10-year anniversary of the killing of the U.S. peace activist Rachel Corey. A 23-year-old college student, Corey was crushed to death by an Israeli army bulldozer in Gaza March 16, 2003. She was standing in front of a Palestinian home to prevent its demolition. An Israeli court rejected a wrongful death suit brought by Rachel Corey's family last year, saying Rachel was at fault for her own death. On Saturday, vigils were held in Corey's hometown of Olympia, Washington, and in Rafah, where she was killed. In a video statement, Rachel Corey his mother, Cindy Corey, urged supporters to pressure the Obama administration to drop its backing of the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and Gaza. Tell President Obama that he must insist that our funding not be used for home demolitions, for settlement building, and for oppression of a civilian population. Tell President Obama that our tax dollars must be used lawfully in the name of peace rather than to fuel conflict and tell President Obama that equality, equal rights for Palestinians, is the path to peace. Cindy Corey, standing with her husband Craig Corey, the parents of Rachel Corey, who died 10 years ago on Saturday, March 16, 2003, in Gaza, protecting the home of a Palestinian family from demolition. President Obama heads to Israel on Wednesday. And those are some. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard hitting, in depth reporting.